child is father to the man. Impressions and prints years before we were grown. Do you know your own mind? No memories in graft and repeated, recycled, treated like their originals, copyrighted, recited. We can just about see a copper colour for you. Shadows haunting shadows, there are elements of me. Of floating ship me. Checking you out. Outfit is bound, I hear the screeching sound of the preparing to feast on which meat quickly trussed up with leather. The cat, in a way, it's, it's, it's cool to do this here because the cat, on one level, came out of my visits to Shanghai. Kim Lawton designed a flyer which was a cat on a cushion holding the Hyperdot logo. And so the, this visualization of what became what called the 30 year cat came out of that. Because it's the god of Hyperdub, it's my boss. So in this fiction, I take instructions from this cat. And this idea of like a god of the record label or the soul of the record label actually started before um, the label existed, before the label even existed as a music magazine back in 1999 where I kind of wrote a short, very short fiction about something called the Hyperdump virus, which was a way of trying to understand um, what the digital soul of a record label would be um, as a virus that we as humans are hosts of this virus, and um, the music, we pass the music on, and we carry the music, and we by playing the music, we infect other people with the, with the essence of this, this music. So one of the fictional backstories of the Third Year Cat is um, to do with two things. Uh, one is a fiction, another fiction of a Vietnamese bioacoustics expert called Nguyen Van Phong, who in the 60s developed a system for Kind of almost like a divination system for communicating with the voices of the dead and the voices of the not yet living. In other words, a way of communicating with the past and the future. And he called this uh, the third ear. So not the third eye as in Buddhism, but the third ear cat. And the other one was a real CIA project in the 1960s called Acoustic Kitty, where the CIA came up with this crazy idea to create a surveillance device by implanting a microphone and an aerial within a real cat and sending the cat into kind of enemy territory to like a bugging device to listen in and what was being said. So the fiction of the 30 year cat is a kind of splicing together of these two, two things. This, this kind of real but crazy CIA experiment and this fictional story which we developed in this group called Audit to do with third year listening. Instead of that, the third year cat, it's third year is the aerial on top, which is the hybrid of logo. And in the fiction of the cat, through the aerial, it attracts, it, it um, receives information from the past and from the future. And then in, in the fiction to do with this scientist, Nguyen Van Phong, he developed an algorithm for decoding those signals coming in from the future and from the past and transcoding them into something that a human could understand. So the cat is becoming uh, an experiment in artificial intelligence. So we're working with two programmers who are, let's, I call it feeding the cat. So basically what they're doing is training, um, training algorithms using a data set of all of the music that's ever been released on the label. The algorithmic version of the cat will be able to um, produce mutant, the mutant offspring of the total collection of all of the music that the label has put out using a various, various techniques which we're experimenting with just now. One of them is using the spectrogram of the tracks to, to using the, the, the visual waveform in order to transcode um, and transcode the total into new mutations of that sound. Um, 
Another version is to look at the, some of the sonic qualities of some of the music we put out and develop it along those lines and create mutant hybrids, for example, between my music and Burial's music or other artists in the label. Um, so the cat, this idea of the digital soul of the label is, is becoming actualized or concretized through, um, I hope, through some of these experiments with artificial intelligence. I suppose the least interesting version of this would be that the cat just predicts it, 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 in, um, in AI, in, in music, we have something called predictive melody, whereby analyzing what something has done in the past, it predicts the next move. Um, so the least interesting version of what this could become is, is that the cat just produces bad versions of the music that we've released before. So I'm much more interested in, in um, not it becoming a predictive tool, but what kind of weird mutant offspring we could generate. Um, in relation to music, um, and I suppose the long-term aim is for the cat to become an artist in its own right. I, I suppose the long-term goal is that I can retire and the artist will, the, the cat will then take on the role of doing all the a &R for the label. So the cat will become like a divination tool, like a crystal ball or um, my psychotherapist. Ha, 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 ha.